few weeks ago, I put out a video. The video was about how you can write drums even if you aren't a drummer. You can use MIDI and you can just basically draw drum beats into a program and it will play drums at you. Logic, which is made by Apple, make this a little bit easier. They have a program called Drummer and it's sort of, sort of AI based, not really, but it's an interface that lets you put drum beats in your songs without you even writing it. So you fill basically criteria. I want it to play these cymbals and these drums in this kind of beat. I want it to be this kind of loud, but this kind of complex with this amount of fills. And then it just farts a drum beat out at you and then you can start tweaking stuff and on the fly it'll just adapt to what it is that you're changing, which is awesome. And I wanna show you how it works. So here we are in Logic. The interface is pretty self-explanatory. So there's on the left here, the genre that you're working in. You've got rock, alternative, songwriter, R&B, electronic, and hip hop. Pick whatever's closest to you because you can go to the finer details with the specific drummer that you pick because there's different drummers that you can pick. So let's say that we choose an alternative and then inside alternative, we have six different drummers to choose from. So we can choose Aiden, Nicky, Gavin, uh, Zach, Mayer, or Duncan, and they all have individual personalities and they have their own drum kit. So they bring different things to the table. So they have this different descriptions. So we'll just pick one and I'll give you a gist. So let's have a look at Nikki. So the description for Nikki is, she's inspired uh, by a love of disco and years as a DJ. Nikki plays bouncy rock infused dance beats on a processed hard hitting kit. If that's something you're into, Nikki's probably the person you need to be picking. If not, and you want something else, there's loads of other drummers. Each of the different genres has like six or eight different drummers. So there's a lot to pick from. So let's choose Nikki just because we can. Now, Nikki has a few different presets. So we can look down the presets and break, there's breakdown, discotheque, drop the beat, neon, no cover, press play, sawtooth and strobe lights. And you'll see everything changes whenever I click one. So we've got two files here. So we'll get rid of one and we'll just use this for now. So I'll say to just loop over it. So let's try breakdown. And this is what that sounds like. Now this is where it gets interesting because I can now start playing around with that graph. So you've got loud to soft and simple to complex. I'll just start moving it around and she will change what she's doing as I change. And then just like that, I've been able to go through different kind of timbres in the snare just by telling her to play a little bit softer. But I can also say, okay, I want you to play a little bit more complex. So she adds in a few ghost notes on the snare. If I say play a little bit more simpler, she'll get to the point where she doesn't even play the snare anymore. She's just playing the hi-hat and the kick. But I can also tell her to do lots of other different things. So I can be like, right, okay. So yeah, I want it to be loud and complex, but I don't like what you're playing. So I want it to be on a different symbol. So if I click on the symbols, I have three different choices. I believe it's crash, ride, and ride bell, but we'll find out. So that's playing on the ride. And then that sounds no different. So for this kit, presumably one and two is exactly the same. Other drum kits will have variations there and then three should probably be the crash. So that's now much bigger. So depending on what type of section of the song you would be in would determine what you would pick for that. But we can still go more complex. I said that we could go soft to get her to stop playing the snare. But if I wanted to do that, without the snare, I can literally just untick snare. So if we get rid of snare, now she's gonna do that really loud without the snare. If that's something that you were into. You could also turn on toms instead and then she'll do a beat on the toms. Something like that, but maybe I also wanted to do a maraca.
maybe. Okay, that's pretty much exactly what I want. I wish I was doing some more fills. I literally have a thing here where I can just turn the fills up so I can tell it to do more fills. So now basically every two bars she's filling into the next section. That is all just working off one beat. There's many different beats that she can do. So down here with the kick and snare pattern, I can choose a completely different pattern and it will remember everything that I've done, except it will change the kick and snare pattern. So I'll choose number one, then number two, and then by the end you're ending up in like the reggae beats and the punk beats. So number eight, what if Nicky was a punk drummer? And number seven, half time. So you could make that work into reggae, you could do it as a big breakdown, whatever. You have all of the options here. Let's say you were making some form of jazz. You've also got a swing option. So if you turn that back onto like hi-hats, we'll make it complex but not as loud, and we turn swing up, now the, the bits between the hard beats, so, duh, 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 are kind of off timing. So it's duh, 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 and it gets that kind of swing jazz feel, which she's now gonna have. If that's a bit too much, you can ring it back. So, back to normal. And then start swinging. And you can really, really customize as much as you want. And that's only one preset that we've gone from. If you go from a different preset, it'll start you in a completely different place. In details, you can also add more stuff to that. So you can add the feel which makes it push or pull a little bit if you wanted to play in a specific way. So if you happen to do a certain guitar track that is slightly pushing, you can tell the drummer to also slightly push, which will line it up a little bit better with what you did. Genius, great. Next that is ghost notes. So when she's doing the more complex beats and is adding ghost notes in, you can say, okay, can you like kind of make them a bit louder or a bit quieter, and it only affects those ghost notes. With hi-hat, you can also say how open or closed the hi-hat is. You can also set that to automatic if you just want it to decide itself. And with that, you can write drums for anything. Any type of music that you've written, there is probably a drummer that will work for you. On top of all of that, if you're happy with how she's playing, but you're not happy with how her kit sounds, you can go into her drum kit and edit that too. So here we are in the drum editor and I can change what kick drum she's using, I can change what snare drum she's using, and then that's the entire thing. You basically have a real life drummer that you can tell what you want to do and it'll do it. So you can now use that to write songs. You can use it to write demos um, to send over to an actual drummer if you have one, but you could genuinely use this to write a finished song. Like you can even, take the thing that the drummer's done, drag it down into a MIDI track, like a MIDI drum track, and then start editing stuff yourself. It's so useful and you can genuinely use it. Like it's like, there is no restrictions on it that you can only use it for demos. Like if you want to use this to make proper music, if you know how to play guitar and sing and you can play some bass and you can play keyboard, piano, whatever, but you are lacking drums, this can fill that hole for you. You don't even need to learn how to write drums because it will literally do it for you. Just press the different things and until you get the result that you want, it's awesome. And that's why I wanted to kind of give you an entire video about it. Didn't want to put it in the MIDI video because that was about how do you actually write drums. This is about how do you get someone else to write the drums for you, which is basically what's happening especially with the different drummers where you can choose the different like personalities that they have, I guess. So very, very useful. I want you to use it because it's fucking awesome. If you do use it and want to show us how you worked it into a song that you've got, 
feel free to send it as drop us an email um, contact at bandyoi.com yeah it'd be really interesting to see what you can do with it because i think it is super super diverse it's as it's not as diverse as a real drummer but it's pretty fucking close so it's awesome so you should use it i use it we use it for like every single let's write a song video that we've ever done so yeah use it thank you for watching this video and get in touch with us if you do actually write some stuff see you later